guys welcome back to my channel good morning to each and every one of us in today's video i'm kenny debbie by name in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys the word of god and my open heaven so this is the open level i decided to be doing this video because i felt like a lot of you out there a lot of people out there really need this because me as a person i've been really i've been finding it difficult to go through the open heaven but i felt like if i start doing this i will be able to impart life and impart my own life so let's go straight to the video So as we know that today is the um, second day in the month of February, year 2022. So I'll be reading um, yesterday on that's the first. Then I'll be reading today. I hope you enjoy it. So guys, the word for today is that's Tuesday, February 1, 2022. So I don't know whether you are seeing it. This is today's on which says um wonders of heaven. I hope you can see it wonders of heaven. I'll put it on the screen so that you guys could see it for any time. Just let me help me to see this one. Wonders of heaven. So I'll be reading it out. Today's word is wonders of heaven. Then our memory verse is taken from the book of Revelation 21, verse 3. And it says, And I heard a great voice of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of god is with men and with and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and god himself shall be with them and be their god praise the lord hallelujah so this is what revelation 21 verse 3 that's our memory verse for today so and let me read through so that you guys could understand I thank God for bringing us into the second month of the year. I pray you continue to help us all to witness more months and years. In Jesus' name, Amen. We must note, however, that no matter how long we live here on earth, we shall live longer in eternity, either in heaven or hell. Or hell. Heaven is wondrous, blissful, and hell is horrifyingly. Sorrowful. I encourage you today to choose to spend your eternity enjoying the blissful wonders of heaven. Today, we will consider a few of these wonders. Praise the Lord. I hope we guys are following. And it says the first is the wonders of heaven, magnificence, and beauty. Wow. According to the description of Revelation 21, verse 16, verse 23, the New Jerusalem, which is the main city, is so large that it that is as an approximate that is as an approximated length of 2250 wow kilometer and a corresponding breadth the city will measure 216 feet in thickness the foundation of the city wall were reinforced and with precious jewelries instead of stone and iron these jewels include jasper sapphire agate amarad oils Canalians, chrysolite, bears, topaz, chrysopras, jacinth, and amethyst. The city wall is built with clear crystalline, crystalline jasper. While the vast city itself, especially the streets, are made pure gold. Wow. So this is telling us that in heaven, like it's just making the description of New Jerusalem, how heaven is going to be. Everything is made with gold. So why the city itself, especially the streets, are made of pure uh, Imagine how the place is going to be when you get to heaven, uh, like our new Jerusalem. Everywhere is pure gold. Pure gold. Pure gold, like transparent glass. Light from the sun or moon is not required in the heavenly city. Wow. It means, it said, light or moons is not required in the heavenly city there shall be no night night time or any form of darkness because the overpowering radiance of god's glory shine and glitter through the entire city wow he's telling us that there's not going to be moon or sun in heaven because our god is radiant his light can flashing up every place so he's saying us that 
because the overpowering radiance of God's glory shines and glitters through the entire city, and the Lord Jesus shall be the light, illuminate the city. That you will find this in Revelation 21, verse 23. What a wonder it would be to behold! Wow, what a wonder it's, it would be to behold! I hope, I pray that me and you will get there one day in Jesus' name. Amen. Another one that's in the spectacular reunion awaiting us all in heaven, which may be the most touching of all the wonders of heaven. The reunions of husband and wife, parents and children, family members, loved ones, long since separated on earth, most especially, most importantly, it shall be a great wonder to meet old saints like Father Abraham, wow, Moses, David, Esther, Mary, Peter, Paul, etc. The glorious gathering, the glorious gathering of the saints in heaven cannot be compared to any earthly reunion. Wow! It's telling us here that when we get there, when we all make heaven, I pray we all make heaven. We are going to meet our loved ones, our parents, our mothers, our grandmas, everyone that we may we might have lost in on earth. We are going to meet them in heaven including our father abraham peter the apostle so i can't wait to meet them so we guys we have to work on our christianity we should make sure we are going to make heaven because this one does is too much in, imagine they said the, the, the our father and the lord is telling us here that um the is telling us that the description of heaven is mighty everywhere the world is made with cold the street light everywhere so it's telling us that heaven is going to be the oh it's going to be a place that we, we have never seen it's going to be a place that we will enjoy so guys i hope we all may get there in jesus name amen so compared to any elderly union no matter how sweet we must do everything within our power to ensure that we do not miss the wonders of heaven by any means i hope you are hearing it we must do everything within our power to ensure that we do not miss the wonders of heaven by any means i will see you in heaven in jesus name amen so our father in the lord is just praying for us they said you will see us in heaven jesus said, i hope you and i is going to make it in jesus name amen so reading for today is revelation 21 then bible in one year leviticus 5 to 7 him is deeper deeper in the love of god then today's prayer point is saying father please count me worthy to witness the wonders of heaven in jesus name amen father let's just bow our heads and say this little prayer father please count me worthy to witness the wonders of heaven in jesus name father in the mighty name of jesus count us worthy to witness the wonders of heaven in jesus name father please in the name of jesus count us worthy to witness the wonders of heaven in jesus name i pray as we pray in the name of jesus god will answer our prayer in the name of jesus we shall meet ever in the name of jesus when they are coming Counting the soldiers in heaven, we shall not be counted out in the name of Jesus. We will be included to behold the glory, the wonders in heaven in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, guys, in today's, you know, I told you that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Open heaven. So, today's one does. Today's, this is Wednesday. So, it's saying the topic for today is the horrors of hell. We discussed the wonders of heaven that was yesterday, including that it is better to experience them and afford the horrors of hell by all means. Today we shall be lo- we shall look at some reason we must afford spending our eternity in hell. The horrors of hell are indeed many, but we shall consider a little or few of them today. The first horrors of hell that came to my mind can be found in Revelation 20 verse 10 and 21 verse 8. All is going to be a great gathering of all evil spirits, wow, and every abomination of human being that ever live on the face of earth. The devil himself will be in that eternity miserable, miserable assembly. Just imagine being in a company of demon, witch, wizard, and at the same time having all unrepented wicked person. 
Waylord, cannibals, terrorists, and notorious killers, whoever live, gathered together in a single location. Wow. Hmm. God is not going to be my portion in the name of Jesus. Whoever live, gathering together in a single location. Imagine the oppression, harassment, horrors, and trembling that would characterize life in such a place. Everyone there will be in agonish pain, anger, and misery. We fill the entire place. There will be unspeakable weeping and expression of pain and agony. The Bible put it this way in Matthew 13, verse 15. It says, And shall cast them into the furnace of fire, and they shall be wailing and garnishing of teeth. This takes us to the second horrors of air. The fire is unquestionable. The heat is terrible. The agony and pain are unbearable. It will never be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Furthermore, this agony torment later forever. The terrible heat in hell make a drop of water far more precious than billions of any correction in this world. The Bible in Luke 16, 23, verse 23, verse 2, 24, tells us that the rich man in hell lit up his eye, being in torment, and seeth Adam afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And Lazarus in his bosom, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and said Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Just a tip of water to, so that Lazarus is going to put it on his drop it in his tongue. Wow. I pray that this will never be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. For I am tormented in this flame. The unquenchable fire of her brought about horrifying agony and tears in the rich man so much that he longed for a just a just for just a drop of water to pull himself to know again. beloved the way to escape the horrors of hell is to accept jesus as the lord and save them surrender all to him and live a righteous life through the help of the holy spirit so do you have any one of us there that is on do you have any unbelievers just say father Pray the prayer and say, Father, Father, please accept me today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my life. Come and be the Savior of my heart. And then just raise up your hand there. I'm going to be praying with you guys. In Jesus' name, Father, in the name of Jesus, your people are surrender, surrendering all to you today in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said there is joy in heaven when one soul is repented. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch their heart today in the name of Jesus. Father, the blessing that come along with people surrendering their life to you in the name of Jesus, let it go with them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they will never go back to the world in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So guys, I hope the prayer point for today is, Father, by your grace, I refuse to be a candidate of hell in Jesus' name. Father, by your grace, I refuse to be the candidate of hell in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your grace, I refuse to be a candidate of hell in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Today's memory verse is taken from the book of Mark 9, verse 45, and it says, And if thy food offend thee cut it off it is better for thee to enter out into life than having to fit to be cast into hell into the fire that never be quenched may this not be our portion in jesus name amen thank you guys see you tomorrow bye